this video, we will examine how to adjust the tension on the Griffin Diamond Bandsaw Blade. We're going to make a pencil mark to give us a visual indication of our adjustment. As we turn the adjustment screw, we can see the top of the saw rise. As we raise the top of the saw, we are increasing the tension on the blade, and that will cause the blade to run more towards the front of the upper wheel. As we lower the top of the saw, the exact opposite happens as you would expect. We want the blade to ride near the back of the wheel, and we can test it by giving a bump to the very rear of the motor. When the blade is adjusted properly, the blade will tend to move towards the front of the wheel when we bump up the motor, but will return to its position at the rear. If we have too much tension on the blade when we bump the back of the motor, the blade won't return to the back of the wheel. The lower wheel has a similar adjustment on it, but in most cases you will never need to touch this. If you do, however, the adjustment is made by turning this screw. To adjust the lower wheel, we first need to loosen the lock nut. Just as with the upper wheel, in this case we want the blade to be running near the back of the lower wheel. When the adjustment is complete, tighten the lock. Now we're ready to install the top cover and get on with using the saw. We'll put our sponges in position. Here is the one that goes under the lower wheel. A second small sponge goes right above the platform. You may run into a case where a blade just doesn't track properly, and often that is caused by a blade that is bent. If you find a blade is bent, you may be able to bend it back into shape by hand. Otherwise, it's time for a new blade. 